Hello and welcome to Porting and Polishing Tips from CC Specialty Tools. Um, you've probably seen some of our other videos on here. This is continuing on with uh, what was started with the aluminum intake and we'll continue on with the cylinder head that goes with that. Now as you see up here, or I hope you can see up here, I've got this all marked up in blue and uh, Typically, I would have, this whole thing would be die cam blue, and you'd see my take my little scriber and mark out the edges. However, that doesn't show up on video, so it doesn't do much good to do that. Uh, so we're going to zoom in here and kind of see a little bit about what we got to take out. Now, everything, bear in mind, everything in blue is what has to cut out. Um, as you can see, this is a Chrysler cylinder head, and it's a unique one because your intake and your exhaust are on the same side of the cylinder head instead on opposite sides like most. It was a brilliant idea of Dodges that uh, just didn't catch on for some reason. Also, as you can see, with much of the uh, blue here, they didn't do the best job in the world of keeping those lines good. In fact, you can see a nice little edge right there. See down the right hand side? That all has to go. Yeah, because oddly enough, that obstructs airflow. It's not really that great. So here's uh, this is just going to be a little introductory before I start actually doing the cutting. Uh, gives you a little idea about what has to come out. And you also, several of you also asked on some of the other videos about this little uh, little moon lip. You see that right there in the center, a uh, little half moon up there at the top of that. Uh, intake port if I was going to leave that. Well, no I'm not, but I had to know that I could take this out. I had to know that we could take this out of the cylinder head without cutting into the water jacket or causing anything else, or if that little lip even existed there. Otherwise, taking it out of the intake would do no good because you just have another obstruction. See, if you took it out here and you couldn't take it out there, what good would that do? <laughs> you, just, you just have this sudden angle change. Now remember, back to something we've stated several times on aerodynamics, any change over, well, 7 degrees, but let's go, let's say 15 degrees is difficult. It causes turbulent airflow, and that's not what we want. We want a nice, smooth airflow, so now that we know for sure that we can take this out, that we can take this little lip out here and here, we'll do that. The only reason, what it illustrates is another good thing. Always plan ahead and make sure before you just start cutting. I know cutting is fun. It is, it is the fun part of all this, is just getting in there and getting out all that silly metal. But the thing is, if we screw up and cut this out and then that uh, on the intake or on the other side and it was a mistake, well, we have to start putting in welds there and all sorts of stuff that isn't as fun as doing the cutting and doing the porting. So, just a quick little introductory there. I'll give you a little idea of what we're going to do in some of the next few videos.